Good morning! Don't mind the open closet over there. I'm about to sort the clothes for laundry. But I did want to talk a little bit of my... That works. <laughs> I did want to talk a little bit about what I do on Saturday morning. How and when I start eating, I guess. Because I am one of many who have adopted the intermittent fasting lifestyle. So pre-COVID, I've actually adopted this method and it's like, it's definitely worked for me just because it's controlled when and what I eat, basically. I am an event planner and because of the situation that was going on before we were ordered to stay home, um, a lot of our events were being canceled just because there, like, there were just way too many people. As the days went by, I didn't really do much. I didn't really have anything to distract me from snacking. And my boss is big on buying us snacks just because he wants us to be happy, I guess. Because food makes everyone happy. I don't start eating till 11 a.m. because Bella went to school from 8 to 11. And I would take my lunch break at 10.50 to go pick her up. From preschool and that would be my one hour lunch break from work and I don't stop eating I mean <laughs> and my last meal is taken at 7 p.m. so that has worked very greatly for me since I've been home I do wake up around 7 30 ish 8 ish on weekdays supposed to be waking up a little earlier than that but it's just hard because Bella wakes up super early and I try to put her back down and when I try to put her back down it's me ending up falling asleep again anyway let's not talk about that so I wake up and the first thing I do obviously is brush my teeth wash my face get ready to work out I usually brew green tea and that's what I drink a little bit before and after my workout but since i ran out of it i've been just drinking water so i drink 20 ounces of water before i work out and and you know that 20 ounces actually obviously goes on till after i finish working out you know last week i went to my mom's house and i actually borrowed some black tea and I found recipes online of how to make milk tea so I've been super obsessed with that lately um, but I save it for my eating window because that is that's just way too many calories to take during my fast yeah so I still make the black tea but I make it to drink at 11 I hope this all makes sense but yeah so that's why you rarely see me eat breakfast I don't eat a lot during the day or like the duration of the hour I'm drinking lots and lots of water in between you don't see me drink that just because I think it's boring for me to film myself drinking water but my goal is to drink 20 ounces every hour so this handy dandy Fitbit over here it notifies me every 50th of the hour to get up and take some steps so that's also my notification to get up and drink some water i'm really bad at drinking water because like many of you don't like water so that's a little reminder for me so i hope today is a fun one now let me go sort out the laundry Since the lovely children are not here, I'm going to take advantage of cleaning out my drawers. It has been a long time struggle for me to clean it out just because I get really lazy. And this room is super hot. We don't have central AC and that is what I'm working with. So first I'm going to tackle my room and then later I'm going to tackle the kids room. Kids have a lot of clothes. Wish me luck. His, hers, can't believe I have so many clothes. 
and we just put the laundry in and I'm sure I have more clothes to put in here and no room <sighs> oh well see how this goes ah see this is the struggle that I work with Time to execute the kids' drawers. Yeah, <laughs> look at that mess. This is Bella's. This is Ryan's. Not too bad, but it's still pretty messy. Lately, I've been just stuffing them in there because I am guilty of laziness. <sighs> so I'm gonna take out the drawers and I'm gonna do it in my room because there's no TV or entertainment in here for me. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Well, I organized Bella's drawers and had my husband organize Ryan's. Uh, <laughs> it's clean. It's perfect. <laughs> Inhaled that donut. Oh, it's too good. It's bad, but it's so good. Okay, so I went ahead and I cleaned the toys. Remember that mess there like a couple hours ago? Beds made. Her cute little dolls over there. This we all we cleaned, I believe, yesterday. It was a hot mess too, so it's all clean now. Currently on this cleaning streak, as you can see, just because it's getting hotter now, and I feel like the more clutter there is, or the more things there are, it just makes it that much harder. Hotter, and we don't have central AC. We're using those tower fans. I know I don't like the placement of these stuffed animals. So I am going to go ahead and order something from Amazon, like one of those toy nets I've seen. I think lunch is about to be done cooking. And by lunch, it's a really late lunch. It's already 4.23. I feel very productive because I got a lot done. Oh, and I'm dying in this heat. I can't take it. I really can't take it. When it's quiet and there's no kids in the house, we lounge and rethink what is life. This is where we bid you adieu. You do? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. So how was your day today? Very slow. Very slow. But, high five. Because by staying home, we save lives. We save lives, we save money, we save our sanity. Yeah, we ate. Three times. Three times today. Healthy, kind of. Kind of. Despite it being really hot, we stayed inside. We beat it. We fought it. And mm -hmm. We still are. This is true. Yeah. And now, we watch TV until we fall asleep. Which is in about 30 minutes. 
precisely. <laughs> <laughs> Bye!